Welcome back, this is episode number 72 in our Let's Play series for Space Engineer Survival Mode. Uh, we are still taking our break from scripting. Last episode we finished up a large cargo shuttle that is uh, better able to handle the amount of cargo that we are pulling off of our mining stations. Um, and today, the first thing that I want to do is build a projector so that should we take any more damage We have a quick and easy way of knowing what that damage is and repairing it. So the first thing I want to do is come in here and update my blueprints. instead of F10, and of course since my game is laggy as hell, that's going to take a minute to deal with. Come on. Control B to replace it. And then I really need to get a projector on my hot bar. I 
find the projector. There it is. Slope off here. And pop the projector down right here. Uh, gotta remember how this is supposed to be oriented. I think that's the front. And that's the top. So I think this is oriented correctly now. Such that frontwards is towards us. I think I just trapped myself in here. Yes, I did. Place this. Not that way. this choose a blueprint a large grip to be used that's fine that's actually the one that we want keep projection because I don't want to remove this. And what I'm actually going to do I have a seat. I get an exterior view. Alright, so we need to rotate it around. Upside down. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so if I roll it like that. Yeah, that's right. 
So it's oriented correctly now. Now I just have to get it lined up right. And I think that means I need to go forward two and down one. But this is all upside down apparently. Apparently, I need to move over one as well. Wrong way. All right, seven eight hundred five out of seven hundred five complete. Now, if I were to disassemble a block, I think it's safe to do one of these ones over here without losing air compression. I'm just going to see what happens if I just break it a little bit. still considers it to be complete. All right, well, that's a little bit less than ideal. If I remove it entirely, you can see the projections there. And it tells me on the output that I have one armor block remaining. Now, if I use the welder, I don't actually have to place the block. I can just weld it. All right. Well, that's that done. That was quick. And this is still just shooting at meteors. It's good. I would be concerned if it was encountering anything else. Because I think it's still out of range of that salvage station. And that is working on our uranium. Speaking of working on uranium, I am going to take the cargo shuttle over to pick up some more of that. Space industry. LCS. Remote control. And this is not configured yet, so I have to do that. Uh, filter down to LCS. I need the connector. Switch lock. Connector. Power. Batteries. Recharge mode. The reactor. Toggle that. The gyro. Toggle that. Thrusters. Toggle that. View the flight camera, view the docking camera. So now this is the flight camera. I go into recharge, reactor, gyro, thrusters, antenna, and then turn off the connector. Clear to fly away. You know, I need to head in the general direction of the uranium station. You can see the baller there and the not incredibly useful small fighter. This gyro still strikes me as being a little bit OP. So I might want to turn the power down on this.
watch this with your original docking camera. Slow down my vertical speed a little bit. Turn the connector back on. platform slow down yeah I had some trouble getting this on the SIC earlier, based on the way this camera is placed. So we'll see how that works out this time. This was not lagging. Alright, whatever, it's locked. Probably crooked, but whatever. Or if the connector got filled, cargo container is not filled, it's getting stuff shoved into it. Grab all the uranium out of here first. And then I'll take as much stone as I can fit. off the connector again, lift off, way much slower now because of all the cargo weight, and that is a reason why we would not necessarily turn down the power, because yeah, the gyro is a little bit less responsive now that we weigh so much more. connectors on top of our hydrogen tanks are actually on the other side of this SIC. This is the bottom. So we have to fly around to the top.
shoves around because I want to be able to pitch down when I get up here. And I'd like to miss her little platform there. of our vertical velocity. Most of our side phase. Start looking downward. Nice thing here, I think, if our gravity field actually goes up high enough, we might actually be able to see what our orientation is based on the artificial gravity once we get into the field. No, it looks like it doesn't extend up high enough. All right, that's fine. It shouldn't be a problem. Just need to have to figure it out for ourselves. We want to be right over the middle of this row because that's where it lines up. I'm going to go up a little bit higher just to make sure that we're clear of the connector. I think we should be alright, but just to make sure. And these hydrogen tanks are three by three, so about the middle of the rim here should be about where we need to be lined up, based on where our camera is located. The trouble is, we can't actually see the connector. We get up and go take a look over at this. The amount of uranium has gone up. If we do a scan, it'll pick up the stone. If we prioritize that up, 
it'll start doing that first, at least in this refinery, fixed all the priority sorting. I'm going to do the same thing over here because then we can just get that stone out of there. And the reprioritization automatically clears it. So now we'll chew through that stone real quick and then we'll go back to doing significantly more uranium. Now all that stuff's going to stay loaded onto the large cargo shuttle because it doesn't pull it off. That's not how it works. Although I did set up a command for the sorting on here that will handle that. If I send it the command collect, it will sort inventory true in this true parameter. If you've watched that episode, you will remember that that determines whether or not it cares about whether or not the, the inventory is looking at or connected or not. So for now, if I look at this inventory and do a search on LCS on this side, you can see there's a bunch of stuff in here. And if I do a search for the large cargo container here, it cares that, or there's a, there's a distinction. Now if I run this with the command collect, survival kit is not sorted, that's fine, that's intentional. It pulled some of the stone into here, but not all of it, because it ran out of space. Uh, and it didn't get to the uranium. Now, on the other hand, if I come back here, and I'm going to have to show all blocks. If I check the large cargo container here and look at the custom data, this one's doing ingots, ore, then ice. And this one I think is just doing ice. Yeah, but if I set it to do ore storage priority equals two, it'll try to put ore in here after it tries to after it fills up the first one. So now if I run this command again. Still didn't do it. It should have tried to put ore in here. And I'm a little confused why it did not. Alright, well I'm not going to debug that now. We'll check on it in the next episode when we do some scripting. Again. Because I was going to review that anyway. But yeah, it should have been like, oh, okay, well that one's full, let me try to put it in the in the other one. And it did not choose to do that. Because there's plenty of room in here, so it should have tried to put it all in there. But it's taking stone out of here first, which is what it's supposed to do. And I think it's going to take this stone first before it starts taking this uranium. Why did it stop? Oh, it stopped because the refinery is full and so is this. Our ingot storage is also full. Well, all right. That should allow it to put ingots in there now. But it's not. So I'm just going to manually move this stone over here. So now it's dumped all the, the ingots in here because it now had space. And it moved all the stone back in there that it could fit. Because that's the highest priority. Yeah, we need to do some work on that. 
pulling the stone out of here now. And now it's pulling the stone out of here. So now it should be fine. It should be able to put the uh, ingots in here as it needs to. But yeah, that priority thing should be allowing it to put stuff in here since this one's full. And the fact that it's not, it's a bug that we'll have to work out. Like I said, we'll do that next time because this is not a scripting episode. Um, as far as other stuff to do, I don't really have anything. So I think this is going to be kind of a short episode. We got the projector set up, so now if something breaks, we'll know exactly what broke and be able to fix it relatively easily. Um, I'm going to figure out how we can usefully script some aspects of that to be like, oh, these are the blocks that are missing. Here are the components automatically being queued up. Um, that's a little bit of a complicated thing, and I'll go into why in the next episode when I discuss the disassemble command that we've configured now as well. I did that off camera. Um, so we'll code review that, and I'll explain why that's complicated. Um, but yeah, that's the plan for next episode, is to, to go back into some scripting, look at the, the disassemble routine, as well as the collect routine, and... Uh, how we got this to list what it's shooting at when it shoots its stuff. Um, and we'll also want to debug why the, the inventory sort priority thing isn't working for secondary priorities. Because that should be moving. This uranium. Into this cargo container and then using this cargo container as well. And I suppose I should also be telling it that if it's using a whole bunch of space for ore in the one that's supposed to be taking ingots, it should move the ore out of it. Because I don't want it to be unable to unload ingots from the refinery and jam up the refinery just because there's ore sitting in here when that ore could be moving now to a secondary priority cargo container. So yeah, that's the plan for that. Um, but that's all next episode. Subscribe to see that happen. Likes, comments, and verbal abuse are welcome. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time.